Hello all, this will be a quick video, a continuation of the previously uploaded Windows UAC Bypass video. So if you haven't watched it already, please do so. The link to the first part of the Windows UAC Bypass video will be in the video's description, so please check that out first. Alright, let's begin. Basically in the previous video, we demonstrated how we can bypass UAC using Ford Helper. It was more of an introductory video and hence, Windows Defender was turned off to facilitate the demonstration. In this video, I will be providing step-by-step -step walkthrough on how we can bypass UAC using Ford Helper with Windows Defender turned on. This means that we will need to bypass Windows Defender first in order to trigger the UAC bypass. As shown over here, Windows Defender is fully updated and all of the features are turned on. Let's visit the Ford Helper UAC Bypass again and give it a try. First, we create the registry item. We then create a property under it. Then, we will need to set the value of the property that we have just created. As shown over here, this immediately triggered a Windows Defender alert and our PowerShell process is queued off, returning us to the initial command prompt instead. One way we can easily bypass this is to rename the cmd.exe. It is very obvious that the way Windows Defender is detecting this is via the cmd.exe program that was set and defined in the registry property. Let's copy cmd.exe to our current directory and let's rename it to hellokitty1.exe instead. Alright, let's return to PowerShell and try to set the value again. As shown over here, this no longer triggers any detections from Windows Defender. This is pretty easy. Alright, so the final step now is to execute forthelper.exe. So, let's break the flow here a little bit and exit PowerShell instead. Let's trigger the Ford Helper binary file in the command prompt instead of PowerShell. Nice, it worked. No Windows Defender detection at all. As shown in Process Explorer, our Hello Kitty onexe which is basically the command prompt, is now running in high integrity level, bypassing the UAC prompt with no Windows Defender alert and detection. That's it for this quick video. I will be concluding the video here. Please be sure to check out the first part of the video in the video's description if you haven't already. Also, it will be greatly appreciated if you can help like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks all. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.